In this video, we introduce Newton's second law, and give examples to understand its meaning, so that you can solve forces problems. You will also learn, how to find the direction of acceleration with the help of this law. Please subscribe us to be informed about our new videos, please see the video to the end to understand all its concepts. Newton's second law. The first law says if no force is applied to the body, or if forces enter and cancel each other's effect. But what happens if force is applied? In this case, Newton's second law helps us. This law says, when a force acts on a body, it causes it to accelerate. In this case we write, in this formula, force denoted by F, mass denoted by M, acceleration denoted by A. In formulas, F is the total force on the body. In fact, it is easier if only one force is applied to the body. This force is the same as F. But if more than one force is applied, the result of the force must be calculated, so it is represented by sigma. And in fact it is the same pure force. So all three terms have the same meaning. We will explain about the resultant force calculation later. In this formula, the unit of force is Newton, and is given by N. The unit of mass is kilograms, and is denoted by kg. And the unit of acceleration is meters per square second, and is denoted by m slash s2. Tip 1. Force and acceleration are vector quantities, and these two quantities are in the same direction. This is an important point, that will help us a lot later to find the direction of acceleration. In part 20, we examine the direction of force. With the help of this tip, we can find the direction of acceleration. A. When the car starts to move, the direction of the force applied to it is forward, so the acceleration of the car is also forward. B. When the car brakes, the direction of the force is backwards, so the direction of acceleration is also backwards. C. In order for the Earth to rotate around the Sun, a centrifugal force must be applied to the Earth, so the acceleration is also towards the Sun. D. When the car travels a road turn, the force applied to it is towards the center of the turn, so the acceleration is also towards the center of the turn. E. When the ball is moving, the direction of gravity is down, so the acceleration is down. Tip 2. Newton's first law is a special case of the second law. In fact, if F is zero, then A also becomes zero. So the speed of the object is constant. That is, if the object is stationary, it remains stationary, and if it is in motion, it moves in a straight line at a constant speed. Example This is a simple example. That is a good example to start with. In fact, the examples are gradually become more complex. A force of 20 newtons is applied to an object with a mass of 5 kilograms. Calculate the acceleration of the object. Answer. We put the question data in the formula. The acceleration of the object is equal to 4 meters per square second. 
Example, we apply a force of 20 newtons to an object on the floor of a room. But the object does not move. Can't we apply Newton's second law here? Answer. In fact, when we apply a force of 20 newtons to the object, a force of 20 newtons of friction enters the object. Which cancel the effect of the applied force, that is, the result of the forces applied to the body is zero, and then its acceleration is zero, that is the speed of the object does not change. In fact, it was stationary at first, that is, the speed of the body was zero, and it remains zero. In this video, we explore conceptual questions. In the next part, we will learn how to solve questions that combine dynamics and kinematics. Please subscribe us to be informed about our new videos.